Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy, and today I'll be showing you how to beat the easter egg in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map Atonement. I plan on making a video for all the side easter eggs in this map, which will include how to get gobble gums, all the shield part locations, how to build pack-a-punch, and a few others. I'll place a link for that video in the description once it is done. And now, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is build the Atom Wolf. To do this, you'll need to obtain three vials. You can obtain them by filling the three grinder soul boxes around the map. These can be done in any order, but I find the following the best strategy. The first soul box is found in the room with double tap. If you buy the red door in the start area first, the soul box can be found down the stairs on the right. Next, make your way to the rail cart system and then to power. Once power is on, you can take the jump pad to outside. The next soul box will be found in the outside area near Mule Kick. And the last soul box is down the tunnel by Jug. If you buy the door for the pub and go down the stairs, the tunnel will be on your left. Follow the tunnel until you reach the last soul box. Once you have all three vials, you can build the Atom Waff at the build table by power. Now you'll need to shoot three sparking power poles with the Atom Waff. All three locations can be found in the area with Speed Cola. There are two right next to each other that you can see from Speed Cola, and one can be reached by going up the stairs that are next to the outside Pack-a-Punch location. You will know you have shot all three when you hear an explosion. Once all three are shot, a fuse box near the staircase will open. Pick up the ingot from inside. You'll then need to place the ingot into the furnace found in the room with the first soul box. Now you'll need to complete a full round before you can pick up the key from the furnace. Once the key is complete, pick it up and use it on the drawer of the desk found in the building with stamina. Take the temple stone from inside and head to the basement area and place it on the ritual table. You can get there by going down the stairs by the Adam Wolf build table or going down either of the two tunnels. There will now be three red ritual circles lit up on the floor around the map. One is in front of Speed Cola, another is found by Crusader's Ale, and the last is near the rail cart system. You'll need to find the circle that contains the floating temple stone and start collecting souls in it. The temple stone will collect a few souls and then move on to the next location. It will keep moving around the map until it has enough souls. You'll know you have collected enough souls when the stone lands on the ground and it says it's too hot to pick up. To cool off the stone, locate and obtain the glowing blue bucket found around the map. I'm unsure how many different locations there are for the bucket, but here are the locations I've seen it in. In the Speed Cola area, next to the car that is across from the power panel where you found the ingot, on this table in the room with Jug, on the floor to the left of the Adam Waff build table, across the room from the first soul box machine, by the soul box machine in the tunnel, and in the start area right next to the door that leads to Crusader's Ale. Once you have obtained the bucket, fill it with water from the altar area. Just find the blue glowing area of the water and interact with it. Now you can cool down the cube with the bucket and pick it up. Place the second cube on the altar. Next, you'll need to find a shovel. There are at least three locations for the shovel. One is across from the rail system machine, another is outside up the stairs from the pack-a-punch machine, and another is found if you take the tunnel by Crusader's Ale, where the tunnel splits. Once you have picked up a shovel, you can then use it to find the blue rail coin. Head to one of the two tunnels and start digging. Eventually, you'll dig up a glowing blue coin. Pick it up. Now you'll want to place the coin in the rail system. However, the rail system is now offline. To fix it, you must repair three electrical panels. One is to the left of the first soul box machine. Another is on the other side of the wall from Mule Kick. And the last is in the rail system room. Once you have repaired all three panels, you can put the coin in the rail system and obtain the last temple stone. Place the stone on the altar and then interact again with it to charge the summoning key. You'll need to protect the altar for approximately 2 minutes while it charges. Once it's complete, you can take the summoning key. You will now need to charge the summoning keys in the three altars around the map. One altar can be found in the room where you forged the desk key. Another is up the stairs by the outside Pack-a-Punch location. And the last is in the area in the tunnels by the rail system. I suggest keeping the door between the rail system and the altar closed. 
It makes this one much easier because the keepers and zombies can only come from one direction. Once you have completed all three rituals, place the key into the wall next to the pack-a-punch machine in the room with Jug. Placing the summoning key in the wall will cause the wall to lower, revealing the room with the teleporter. This teleporter will take you to the boss battle. Before you go, you may want to build the shield and pack a punch. You can find the link for that video once it's done in the description. Once you are ready, interact with the machine to the left of the teleporter. This will start a 30 second countdown. You'll need to be inside the teleporter by the end of the countdown to be taken to the boss fight. To start the boss battle, activate the death ray. This will awaken the panzer dog. Once the button is ready, hit it again to charge the machine. The machine takes approximately 3 minutes to charge. Once it's charged, you can activate the death ray again. You'll need to repeat this two more times to defeat the boss. And that's it. I will be doing more easter egg guides in the future, so subscribe if you're interested. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.